If you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you're someone that actually want to learn how to code or you're making a career switch and you saw what this skill can bring and how valuable it can really make you or you really like problem solving or you like innovating new ideas or whatnot and want to create it to life. In this video, I'm going to tell you the truth. It's not going to be easy. It's not. It's not going to be easy at all. But is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it. It took me four months to land my first job, which was an entry level position. And I know what you're thinking. Four months, that's pretty fast. It is pretty fast. And that is outrageous. Now, me after learning and getting some time under my belt, four months is really rare. That's all I do want to say. Now, prior to that four months, that was the worst time of my heart. I'm going to say worse. It was the hardest time of my life. It felt like two years. I was working, grinding every day, putting in applications, looking at videos, studying, studying, going on, and the list goes on. Now, looking back at every second I spent on coding and learning on how to code, as I look back, would I redo it? 100% I would redo it. I would do it as many times as possible. I would keep redoing it because that's how big of a life change that has been for me. Now, I will say this. It does take a different type of mindset to acquire this skill. It does take a different type of mindset to go through this process. It does take a different type of mindset to actually be in the process. And once you land your first job, it takes a different type of mindset to stay up to date with new tech stacks. You're going to always be pressured. So you just, just install it in your head right now. The pressure will always be on, but that's what's great about it. That's what brings the fire behind this field. You always challenge. You're always going to be challenged. And that's what's really great. It keeps you on your toes and you keep getting better and better every day. Now, where you want to start, you want to start with the mindset. You actually want to start empowering yourself. You want to start thinking positive thoughts. You want to start innovating new ideas. You want to start being very creative. Everything that you can think of creating in your head, imagining, put it on the file, put it on the computer. Now I know that seems scary and challenging because you have no clue where to start, but hey, that's your job now. You're a software developer now. Once you get in, they're gonna hit you with all type of tasks. You have no clue where to go. I want you to know that that's normal. You're not the only one going through that. You're not the only one nervous or scared. Cause I'm telling you right now, once you actually get in and get your feet wet, you actually learned how to program or whatnot, you're gonna have a different level of confidence about you. And of course, you're not gonna know it all. No one's gonna know it all. The tech stacks continuously change. That's why I say there's no need to worry and get that overwhelming feeling. Tech stacks will always change. All you have to do is study the fundamentals, keep the fundamentals, keep practicing and keep attacking it. Make it a habit. 1% better every day. You should, that should just be on your mind. Always remember the fundamentals and the basics of programming and you will go far. I promise you, you will go very far in this field. Step one, mindset. Step one, we have two parts to them. Mindset and pick one. Start with the mindset, attack the mindset. And what I mean by that, be open, be open-minded, knock those fears down, start reading, start learning, start bettering, just start thinking positive about yourself. Build that self-confidence and build that self-awareness. And then the second part, what I mean by pick one is pick one. Don't do what I did when I first started learning. I tried to learn all over the place. I was learning full stack, back end, middleware, front end, pick one. Pick one and what I mean is pick one and run with that one. You're gonna thank me later for that. Pick one, thrive, give it your all. Step two, habits. Now, what I mean by habits, create you a habit, create you an algorithm, create you some daily habits that you constantly do that will help you learn in whichever field you decide to pick. So what I mean is create you, you can start creating notes, reminders, what I, whatever you use, put it on your board, write it in your journal, write it on your laptop, whatever you need to do, write it on your phone. Start creating you daily habits and get you an algorithm. You can learn five minutes a day, then build it up. Go from five minutes to 10 minutes, then build from there. 10 minutes to 15 minutes, you know, so it's going to go on. You're going to start building that rep, that repetition where it starts to become muscle memory for you. It's going to start becoming easier and easier. Make it fun. Test yourself, reward yourself. Make it fun. That will be one of the biggest keys and concepts of this journey period. Make it fun. Remember to enjoy it, relax in it. Don't, don't force it. Don't, you know, feel like it's a hassle on you. No, make it fun. Challenge yourself. Get out your comfort zone. You're going to love it. I promise you. It's going to create so many. You want to. Figure out stuff that you didn't even know about yourself. You, you're going to find a fire you didn't even know you had in you. You're going to love that. Step three, build. And what I mean by build, I mean build relationships, build projects, build character, build discipline, build. That would be the key word, build. Trust me. Now, you want to start by creating your portfolio site. Create yourself, create the projects I told you. Like I told you, go in. Whatever you're thinking, whatever you imagine, create it. 
who just figure out how to create it. That's the great part about it. That's the challenging part. Challenge yourself because that will be your job once you land into your first job. You have to challenge yourself. Go online. Don't be scared to go out your comfort zone. Also, reflect. Reflect on what you're doing. Take notes of your progress. You're going to love it. Reward yourself during your progress. You're going to love it. It's no better feeling than seeing your progression and where you where you from start from zero to where you're at now. So even it can be one step. There's no better feeling and to see that you're continuously getting better at something. Those three key steps will take you very far. I promise you, you want to thank me for that. Those three steps will take you so far. And remember, it's, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be very challenging, but you got this. When you got it, anything is possible. You put your mind to it, it will happen. Remember, so, yeah. at the end of the day, make it fun. Enjoy the process. Enjoy programming. So enjoy learning about the new test stacks. Make it fun. It will save you some time. Tech 9 is out. Thank <laughs> you.